This is the plaintiff, Robert Huck. He says he's a jack of all trades and was hired by the defendant to do some repairs on her house and the woman refuses to pay him for all his hard work. The plaintiff only paid him a fraction of what she owes him and he's still kind of stunned because he worked for 58 hours at $30 an hour and is now owed $2,160. Just what he's suing for today. This is the defendant, Devon Edwards. She says she asked the plaintiff what he charged, and he responded by saying, whatever you want to pay me is fine. When she asked why he wouldn't give her a price, he told her he just likes helping people. Bottom line, he did a pretty terrible job on most of the work he did. She paid him what she thought it was worth. She's guessing he wasn't happy with that, and here they are. She's accused of being an underpayer. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,460 for storing the plaintiff's rototiller for six months. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff did repairs for the defendant and got stiffed, but the defendant says he told her to pay what it was worth. It's the case of you're worth less. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Robert Huck, you are suing Devon Edwards for $2,860 in unpaid labor and you have a counterclaim against him for $1,460 for storage. Okay, let me hear from you first. Um, well, I met uh, Devon through a mutual acquaintance um, who in, brought me to her house and uh, she let me know that she needed some work done. And I said, I can do things. Uh, handyman. Uh, pardon? Handyman. Yeah, I'm a handyman. A handyman I do, all, I do all kinds of stuff, yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a chef by trade. Okay. But anyway, um, I didn't get any kind of contract with her. Uh, don't yell at me. I know you're going <laughs> to... Uh, if you think that saying don't yell at me... I know that's me, not good. <laughs> he's going to stop the tirade that's going to happen in a minute. Go ahead. All right. Um, it's not that you didn't get a contract. That's bad enough. Right. You didn't even get an agreement on what you would be paid. Right. That's infinitely um, well, worse. I, I told you, her. It's not just that you didn't get a written contract. You didn't get a verbal yeah. contract. No, I got a verbal contract. Really? But, what was the agreement um, on what you would be paid for each of the... Well, it wasn't on each job. It was more of how many hours it was going to take me. Did you have and a so, verbal agreement with her on how much you would be paid an hour? Um, well, I said I'd make, I'd, I usually make 30 to $35 an hour. So she agreed handy. to pay you 30 to 35 um, I'm assuming I know that's what, what I said. What are you assuming? Oh. Did you have any agreement <laughs> um, with her beforehand about what you would get paid? Or did you say, according to you, he said what? When I asked him how much he would charge for the things that I needed done, he stated, whatever you give me. And I said to him, why would you do that? And he said, because I like helping people. And then you sure showed him, huh? How much did you pay him for his labor? What did you do for her? Oh, Lord. It was 73 hours of work. Tell uh, me what you did. Uh, retaining wall, uh, 98 feet long. A 98 uh, for You built a 98, 98 <laughs> feet long yeah. retaining wall? OK. Yeah. Well, that was the last part. Because at first, she, she, at first it was uh, she has a long hill coming down a steep hill the water was coming from, from the roof. roof and the thing and it eroded like a, a big trench coming down it eroded you know? the, the soil yeah um so she asked you to do what i'll fix it <laughs> by doing what um, what did you do i framed it out with wood put plastic around it so it, the water couldn't get outside there and i filled it with trap rock so all the water coming through would have to run through this and go down to the end of the hill, and you don't worry about it. Okay. So um, how much did she end up paying you for your... What was it she... The phrase was, anything you feel like paying me, anything you think is right. And what did she <laughs> think was right for all of your work? She, I didn't get a dime. I thought you said she paid you $300. That wasn't, that wasn't even for me. That was for the supplies. That was my out-of-pocket money. So I didn't get anything for me. So I had two when, you, workers. when you said to her, pay me what you think is right. I never said that. Well, <laughs> prove what you did say. Oh. Well, that's just it. I, I, I can't prove anything. I have no contract here. I, I don't work for nothing. I, I'm a hard worker, but I don't course, do it for free. Of course. <laughs> but, but you're asking $35 an hour, which yeah. is a, a high rate. Well, I, 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 I did 30 and Or 30 Like, you have to prove to me she agreed to 30 Oh. 
Can you do that? Uh, well, no, I think it, because it was a there's lot nothing in writing. Right. Never mind about writing. writing. I think it's a much more loosey goosey than you're saying. I don't know that you oh, had. It is. First of all, you worked for how oh. long before before finally you got tired of working without getting a, a pay? I'll tell you why this was um, during. Probably like halfway through everything. Which she, was what? How many weeks were you working without oh, seeing geez. a dime? It was going uh, almost three months. So this is sporadically throughout three months. Yeah. And you don't see one dime. And it never occurs to you to stop because oh, no, she's no, not no. paying you. Um, now, now, as I was saying, uh, halfway through, she mentioned to me that she can start paying me by the week if I want the money then. I said, well, I'd rather get it at the end because, okay, right, this was my idea. But the reason being, I said, like a contractor does, they usually take half of it at the beginning and then they get their second half when they're done with a job. Yeah, and so, so, did you which get would your first half? What? Did you get your first half at the beginning? No, I, no, I didn't. You, got nothing. <laughs> you just worked for three no. months. Why would, first of all, did you pay him $300? I paid him over $1,300. Yeah, but are you including in that the amount that you paid for the rocks? No. Okay, he, I need to see proof that you paid him what I, you're saying. I, I don't have any proof because he said to me, whatever you give me, uh, weekly as he would bring receipts for the rocks and all the other stuff he picked up, I would pay him in a Right, month. but that's that's merchandise that you got. That doesn't go in his pocket. What but did you pay also, him for his labor? I also gave him money for his labor. and for the How two, much money did you give him for his labor? I gave him over $1,300. You're going to have to prove that. At, at You're going to have to. He's outraged right now. You're going to have to prove that. <laughs> at one time, I gave him $300 cash. Yeah. Plus, plus the date. That's what he says you gave him, but he had to give that to the people who were working with him that day. But tell me when you gave him $1,300. I used to give it to him periodically when I would find him in the yard. When okay, he you understand there. you can't come to court and just say, I paid $2,000, but I can't prove it. You know that that's not going to go anywhere, right? You do watch people's court. Yes, I mean, you've I seen how this goes down. What? You know, when you pay somebody $1,300, you should get a receipt. That way you can prove that you pay them $1,300, especially in a loosey-goosey thing like this, where it's like, ah, oh, whatever you want. Like, this is crazy. Guy's working there three months. The, the, the lady he built a retaining wall. Do you know how much that cost? He built two, two, it was two levels. I have pictures of it. It was two, two, le two rocks with a cap on it. That's what he built. Why don't you do it yourself if it's so easy? I didn't say it was easy. Okay. But he agreed to do this. For free? He said, whatever you give me. And, and so what you him. chose to, gave him, no. to give him was $300 or zero? No, or? I paid him as we, he went along. Otherwise, why would he continue working for six months with no pay? Oh, because this is the kind of guy who says, pay me at the end and whatever you think is right, that according to you. The that, kind of person who says, whatever you think is fair is the kind of person who would keep working for three months. So plaintiff does the work. Uh, it's an oral agreement. It says, well, I'll pay you, but there's no specific price. He did the work. Does he get any money? He should be paid, but there should have been something. Written. What do you pay him? That, that should have been negotiated. Well, they didn't negotiate it. What do you pay him? It should have been in writing. So. Didn't do it in writing. What do you pay him? I have no idea. Well, that's the thing. What do you pay him? You just hope that he kept the receipts so he could. <laughs> so all you're going to do is give him the cost of what he actually spent? Well, an oral deal, nothing's on paper. You kind of screw yourself on that one. Uh, but do you give him any money for what he did? I mean, to give him some profit out of it? I would say no, because that should have been settled before. But um, then the person who gets the work done gets this huge windfall. It's, it's the person who did the job without getting paid. It's their fault. It's their fault, the person who does the work. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Should you have pictures of the stuff you do? What's yes. your counterclaim about? Storage? <laughs> what is that about? What, is, what are you storing for him? He left a rotillery in my yard from the time he worked there, all of August, all of September. What August. does this look like, this item? It's a rotillery machine that you use to garden with that he used to do the dirt, to get the dirt up when he built the retaining wall. He picked it up on December. How big is that thing? It it's a, like, like a lawnmower. A little higher. About the size of a lawnmower. And why did you leave that there? Uh, I was going to use it again for her backyard. Um, but okay, but when things went sour, why didn't you take it? Oh, I took it. Oh, you did? When <laughs> things went sour, you took it? She, she, she gave me okay, the Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Okay. So when you say he left it there, he left it there during the time that he was doing work for you? He was still in and out of the yard, but he was done with the with the rotillery because the rotillery was just when he was doing so the So you retainer. are actually coming to court and filing a claim against him for 50, he should pay you $1,500 for keeping the tools he was using to fix your yard in your yard while he was doing your yard because according to you, that specific part was done. That is what you are doing here today. You never once told him while the guy's working there, hey, get this thing out of here, it's taking up too much room. The minute things went sour, he took it. It's not like he left it there when things went sour. But you think I ought to order, order him to pay you $1,500.
right? You who got all that labor for, that we've talked about for all those months without paying anything that you can prove, you should get $1,500. What planet are you living on? Because what you have, I want to bottle and sell. <clears throat> Your Honor, I have pictures. This is not a small retaining wall. I don't know what you're, you're this is a retaining wall. This isn't just putting up a couple of, of bricks. It's 98 feet. Jeez. Ma'am, did you ever price out any of the things that you had done to find out what somebody would have charged you to do them? Your Honor. Yes or no? No, I did not. Okay. And then comma, what did you want to say? He completed the wall and everything else I've had to have redone. You know what? I'm just going to, then let's just talk about the wall, okay? Do you have any idea what someone would charge you for the retaining wall? No, I don't. Well, you should. That way you'd know whether you're acting appropriately or not. You should. Okay. I'm ordering you to pay the, I, I can't, you know, by the same token, this idea of getting $30 an hour is not going to fly either. Yeah. I could, when you two don't specify what the meeting of the minds is on how much okay. this is going to cost, what you do is you leave it up to a judge to decide what the fair market value of labor is for this kind of a job. That's what you do by operation of law. So I now have to kind of guesstimate what I think it's worth that he didn't get paid, that I feel he should get paid, because you can't prove that you paid him, okay? And I don't think you paid him. I think that no. you might have handed out as much money as you're talking about, and that included the materials that were coming to your house. That doesn't go in the man's pocket. The guy's got to eat, okay? Yeah, wow. Honest. Stop talking. Hold on, man. Okay, so after reviewing what I have heard and coming to that conclusion of what I think is a fair sum, I am ordering you to pay the defendant, I'm sorry, I am ordering the defendant to pay the plaintiff the sum of $1,500. And on your counterclaim against him for having the tool, having the nerve to leave a tool there that you were still using while you're working on the property, okay, even if you were done a week earlier and still left it there, zero, okay? Your Honor, my phone. Yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> you stop me for that? <laughs> Well, Judge Million puts a value on the work the plaintiff did at $1,500, and that's the judgment against you. What's your reaction to this? I just regret that she didn't let me explain my side of the case because he lied. He was paid. Yeah. Well, you didn't have any proof of that, right? He don't have any proof that I didn't pay him. Okay. Do well, you think that's good enough to leave on? Well, he didn't have any proof. Why would he keep coming back for six months if he didn't get paid? Nobody would come back and work for six months if they didn't get paid. All right, step on in here. Uh, she says you got paid. She keeps insisting oh. on that. Well, that, that's a total lie. I wish I said something in there. Um, but, but I'm just happy that what she said to her, to let her understand you can't just do this to people. It's just not right. Go to church and learn something. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Harvey. Oh, I'm going to throw a legal term at you. Uh, this is called quantum merit in the law. It means that you're entitled, if you don't have a binding contract, but there was clearly some expectation you'd get paid, it's the reasonable value of the services rendered, and that's up to the judge. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.